Hey guys, it's the next morning. Here we go. Oh my gosh, look how cute she is. So we've had a big play time. She got up about two or three hours ago. She's had a massive play time. She did two poos outside and one wee. Um, and then she's just been sleeping on me for the last half an hour. I'm gonna head out to the gym now and I'm gonna pop her back in her crate so she can have a proper nap. She's obviously tired, even though she slept all through the night. She literally, she didn't cry once. It's insane. I don't know how that happened. She didn't cry at all, she slept. I woke up at 3 a.m. just to let her out for a wee, but I'd obviously woken her up because she was really dozy. So um, she might not have even needed to be woken up. She's just the best dog ever. I mean, I know I could speak too soon, maybe tonight she'll cry, but I feel like if she didn't cry on her first night, she's probably not going to cry. She seems very at home already, which is very strange. Uh, obviously, I've had loads of lovely messages from you guys giving me tips and advice, which I welcome all tips and advice, being like she'll probably feel quite anxious for the first few days. I don't think she is. She's so happy running around, wagging her tail, like jumping up, wanting cuddles all the time. She just seems so at home, which is so lovely. I love her so much. It's good. I've got some friends coming over today. Suddenly all my friends want to visit. None of my friends have wanted to visit me at all until I've got a puppy and now they all want to come around. But I made an Instagram account for Ava last night. So if you want to go and follow her, her name is Ava Bennett Wood because Lucy's uh, surname is Bennett and mine's Wood as if it's our child. And as I said, it is my dog technically, but um, it is also Lucy's dog. But as in when me and Lucy eventually don't live together, she'll obviously come with me. Um, but yeah, she's so cute. Me and Lucy are just so in love with her, not each other. <laughs> Guys, I've always wanted a dog that I could teach how to howl. So we've been howling. Let's see if she'll do it again. Oh! 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 What I love is that I was teaching her to howl like two seconds ago and now she's sort of calmed down and she wants to have a nap. Ava, you're so cute. The funny thing is I know that soon she'll be grown up and then I won't be able to remember her when she was at this size so I'm glad I'm doing these videos so that I can um, look back on how tiny you were. Yeah. She won't leave me alone, she just keeps climbing on top of me, which is exactly what I wanted from a dog. I want a lap dog, and I think that's exactly what she's gonna be. What? What? You going for some more food? Greedy guts. Right. Not much to update you guys on. My friend Drew came over and met her. And now, the trouble is, guys, I need the loo, and I need to make some lunch. Um, but I don't know what to do with her because she cries whenever I put her on the floor. She's so needy. She just likes to cuddle all the time. I think I just need to put her on the floor and ignore her cries. But it's so hard because she just loves attention. Don't you? You're like me. You love attention. Yeah. Ooh, that was a big yawn. Wasn't it? Vero's just come round. Ava loves you. She was so, oh, she loves kisses. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> You're literally, like, at home right now. <laughs> oh. Why do puppies make everything better? I know, literally. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. She just did a wee just before you arrived, so she's not going to wet herself on you, which is good. Even if she did. Yeah. Wouldn't you? Who... <laughs> She's slept on her back before, which is really funny. I lay her on my lap oh, and she sleeps on her back. It's so funny. Too much. <laughs> right, we're going to try and give Ava her very first bath. I was going to wait until Lucy could help me with it. But uh, you know what? I'm going to give it a go because she just laid down in some wee in the garden. So that was helpful, wasn't it? I don't know what she's going to think to this. Okay. Ava, yeah. Pop some of the shampoo on because you stink. Yes, you do. She was brought up on a farm, so she smells, I think she was kept like on shavings on sawdust or something, so she smells a bit, and she's just a bit mucky. The first thing Drew said when he saw her yesterday was, oh, she stinks, um, which is true, she does, so hopefully this will make you smell lovely. 
because you're going to have lots of bugs. Oh, not on your face. I put it all on her face. That wouldn't happen if you stopped jumping around. You look very sorry for yourself. You're clean. Yeah, you're clean. Okay, I'll dry you. There you are. There you are. Yeah, we'll get you nice and dry. Yeah. She's such a little baby. Let's take you into the living room. Yeah. Good girl. We're wondering whether to uh, get her used to the hairdryer and use Lucy's hairdryer on her, get her used to it from a young age. Because none of my dogs have liked the hairdryer. But I, if we do it from a young age, maybe she'll learn to love it. Because I've seen dogs online, some of them love the hairdryer. Are you feeling a bit better now? She was also itching quite a lot. So, um, I think the sawdust and everything, she was a bit dusty. But um, if that doesn't help it, then we'll have to get you some flea treatment, won't we? Should we pop the heating on? You're shivering. Yeah. Let's pop the heating on. Little burrito, aren't you? Where's my phone? No. Ah. Get Mr. Sloth. Mm. You love Mr. Sloth, don't you? No, don't jump up here. No. We're training her to sit at the moment, aren't we? Ava, come. Good girl. Sit. Sit. Good girl, you're so clever. Ava, come. Good girl. Sit. Good girl. Yeah. So I'm trying to teach her to fetch and she's done it a few times. Go on then. Good girl, Ava. Good girl. Good fetch. No, bring it back. <laughs> Ready? Good girl! Yeah, good girl! She used to just go and play with it and then run back, so it's really good she's bringing it back to me. Oh! <laughs> oh, you want to tug, do you? I bought you all these expensive toys and you just want to play with a kitchen roll holder. Not even holder, kitchen roll tube. Right, so Ava and I are on our very first walk. She's too young to be on the ground because she hasn't had her vaccinations yet. Um, so I've put on her collar and her harness so she can get used to it. Wrapped her in a blanket because it's a little bit cold. And we're going for a little walk just to get used to all the noises and smells. We're being very good. My biggest fear is just bumping into other people because I don't want to have to keep stopping like every two seconds while people stroke her, which is good for her socialization, I know. But as an introvert, I'm like, oh, please, no one talk to me. <laughs> hey, everyone. So it's been a few days since I have vlogged with little Ava. She's doing very well. She's very, very confident. I took her home this weekend to see uh, my family and to see Oscar, my family's dog and um, Crumpet, my brother's puppy. And I got some footage, so I'll insert it now. So we've just arrived at the service stations. We're going back home. Ava's had a nap. She's been sleeping in this in the back seat. She's been very good, completely quiet, haven't you? She just did one stinky fart. Yeah, she did a terrible <laughs> fart. <laughs> Lucy thought it was me, but it was you. It's a good thing I got a dog now, because I can blame the dog when it's me. But it was her. Let's go for a wee wee. She's so well behaved. <laughs> She's so good. I feel like this is done up tight enough to see. Do you like her, Zara? <gasps> kisses. Oh, kisses. She's kissing you. It's that cold nose. <laughs> Ava, it's another She's baby. I'm very excited to see you. <gasps> Ava, who's do you like this doggy? Keep an eye on him, Joe. Uh -huh. I don't want him to eat them. <laughs> 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 he really wants to join in. Good boy, my dad. Good boy, Oscar. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> she pulled his leg. <laughs> she was very naughty. She's well, she's a good girl, but she's just so much tougher than I ever thought. She was so, she was holding her own with the male dogs, and uh, she really fought with them, like in a good way, puppy fighting. But um, she's great. But anyway, right now, I'm t today's task is to teach her to go down. Um, so that's what I'm doing. She knows sit. And her bum just would not go on the floor. So you're supposed to lure them down from a sit into a down position. But she just ne would never do it. So I had to start rewarding her for just putting her front elbows on the floor. And now, finally, she's putting her bum on the floor. So I'm going to try and show you. Ava, sit. Good sit. Down. Good down. Ava, sit. Good girl. Down. Good down. Good girl. So this is what we've been doing. I just need to keep repeating it. And um, she doesn't know this word down yet. I'm just saying it as she lowers herself down. I'm saying it to try and associate it with, um, with that action. But yeah, she's very cute. We're doing very well, aren't we, Ava? Yeah. Right, it's 3 p.m. On Sunday, I'm going to the gym. She's just had a stint of being really good. Like with the lying down, she's learning down, which is good. Uh, she asked to go out for a poo. She walked to the back door and looked outside. I let her out, she did a poo, which is great. And then she did two wees indoors. She did one wee, I took her out, like stopped her, took her out. She didn't do anything, asked to come back in, let her back in. She did another wee and I was like, no. Um, and she also doesn't stop biting. This is from Ava scratching and biting me. Um, so I put her in her crate. Daddy needs some alone time. <laughs> so I'm heading to the gym. I'm going to leave her to have a nap. Um, and hopefully when I get back, uh, we can try some more tricks. And she might have calmed down a little bit. Hey everyone. So it's Monday. Tomorrow will be a week since I've had Ava. I'm just off now to Pets at Home. I've left Ava for a nap. She was sleeping on my lap. So I was like, let's put her in the crate and get out of the house. Um, I've already been to Orange Theory this morning. And... Uh, so she's already had one massive nap and she's just getting so naughty now, guys. It's ridiculous. She's, um, I mean, I know that's what you expect with puppies, but as of last night, she went mental, like running around, biting everything, like biting my hands, arms, Lucy, everything. She bit my nipple twice. She's bitten like my love handles. She bites my face, everything. And of course we have toys for her, but none of them are sort of like chewable, sort of eatable, edible food toys do you know what I mean like a pig's ear or like a dentist stick or a nyla bone or something like that so I'm gonna go get her some chew toys um, yeah she's still weeing inside most of the time she wees outside wees and poos outside about 60% of the time 40% of the time she's still weeing indoors she hasn't had a poo indoors for a very long time which is good but yeah Oh my gosh, she's so exhausting. Um, I feel like she's going through a naughty phase because she's now comfortable at home. She's not nervous at all and she's just uh, going crazy. But the cute thing was earlier today, I heard her sort of growling for the first time. I threw her her toy. She'd been playing with her toy for ages. And then this one time she just started staring at it and growling at it and I filmed it. It's your toy, Ava. <coughs> Pets at home, one and a half miles away. Right, right, it's all done. I thought I'd do a little haul in the car and show you what I got instead of doing it at home, because I'm always at home, so why not do it in the car? So firstly, I got this which basically kills all the urine odors because I've heard that even if you use bleach to clean up when they've had an accident indoors, they can still smell the urine. So you need one that's special. This has like a pro-bacteria enzyme formula that eliminates the urine odors and it discourages repeat markings. So hopefully Ava won't smell it and then go, oh, I want to wee there. She'll be like, oh no, I don't want to wee there. That's for that. 
The next thing that's kind of similar, I don't know if this will work, it's called Pet Behave Spray. So if you don't want them chewing anything, you spray it on it, and then hopefully they won't chew it. I'm hoping this will work on my hands as well, so I might even spray my hands, and maybe she'll taste it, it tastes gross, and she won't want to bite me anymore. But you can spray it on curtains, on slippers, on anything that you don't want them to chew or scratch. Then, um, boring, just got some more puppy pads. I only bought three originally instead of the big 30 pack because I was like, she won't need them, but we do need a few more. So we've used two so far out of the three, so I've got a few more. I'm determined not to buy that 30 pack. You never know, I might be regretting that because these are much more expensive. Then, all the fun stuff for her, I have gotten her these treats. These are tasty chicken strips that are very soft. So one thing that I didn't do was buy her soft treats that you could easily train her with. So I've been training her with chicken, which she absolutely loves. Um, but the, the sort of packaged treats that I've got her, she loves likes, but they take her ages to chew, so you can't really train her with them because she takes ages to chew them. So these hopefully will go down very well and very easily and I can give break them into small bits and just fe keep feeding her them when I'm teaching her stuff. The next thing I got her was some puppy milk. I just couldn't resist. Um, so this is just a little drink for her. I know uh, my old dog Barney, we used to get him some milk, not for puppies, just general dog milk and he loved it. So I'm going to try her with that. And then these are what I mainly came for. These Nyla bones. Um, oh look, they're from America. Um, we used to give these to Oscar and he loves them. So they, they feel like plastic, but they're actually made with flavors. So I think this one, I think this one is bacon, that one's chicken and that one's chicken as well. Basically you start with this one and then you go on to this one and then they can have that. And hopefully this will keep her entertained because it says it discourages destructive chewing, it fights boredom and she does get quite bored and it occupies and entertains. And I need that because honestly, she takes so much of my attention. I can't do anything. I can't even edit videos because unless she's asleep and when she's asleep, I want to leave the house because I have things to do. So I can't do anything while she's there. So hopefully those will keep her entertained while I'm getting on and trying to earn a living. Right, she's just had some puppy milk. She seemed to love it. Gonna try her with these now. Ava, what's this? Ooh. Do you like that? Come on then. Mmm. I have just been to Costa to go and edit this video that you're watching now and I realize there's nothing to sign off. <laughs> so I just came back, woke her up, took her for a wee and I've given her dinner because she wouldn't stop crying. And uh, she's still crying because she's overexcited that she's getting to eat her food, which is her favorite time of the day. Which I can 100% relate to because that's my favorite time of the day as well. Oh, it's been exhausting. The thing is, sometimes when I've been filming, saying, complaining about how hard work she is, like, I really feel it. I'm like, oh, I'm, s like, I'm really frustrated with her. But when I watched the footage back when I was editing this video, I was like, oh, everything's so lovely and like, it's a weird thing, I guess that's being a parent for you, isn't it? I'm like, even though I'm frustrated with her, I love her so much and not one part of me regrets getting her. I think my mum has asked me a few times, being like, oh, are you still glad you've got her? And I am, but it doesn't change the fact that she is annoying <laughs> and she requires a lot of attention and, you know, like I said before, it's not just me teaching this new puppy a new routine, it's me teaching myself a new routine. So it's gonna take a bit of time for me to settle into this new routine. And actually, I think it's about celebrating the good things. So I no longer have to wake up at 3 a.m. to let her out for a wee. She sleeps all the way through the night without needing a wee. She is learning to sit. She's currently learning to go down. There are bad things like biting, crying, like just in general, just being annoying and time consuming, but uh, the good outweighs the bad, definitely. So thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up because it really does help YouTube recommend my videos to other people. And I'd love for more people to join and watch these videos, uh, not just these ones, but any of them. I think I'm gonna call this series like the Puppy Diaries or something. Um, I'll keep making lots of Ava puppy related content. I'll also be making content that isn't related to the puppy, uh, but for the moment, because this is the main thing going on in my life I don't have time to vlog about anything else so it's all her um, but I've got the YouTube Christmas party on Friday which I'm really looking forward to um, 
Lucy is going to be working from home all day Friday, so I'm going to take the whole of Friday off, going to spend it with Leah, we're going to have fun, and then go to the YouTube Christmas party. It's going to be amazing. Um, I feel like a parent planning a night out while the kids are being babysat. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you've got any requests of what you would like to see, if you'd like to see any practical things of like how to teach a dog things, I do know quite a bit from training Oscar, my family dog, but also uh, from now doing lots of research. So I could, I was like, I could make my own videos on teaching a dog to sit. I know how to do it. But yeah, let me know. I hope you're all doing really well and I'll see you soon. Bye. Oh, and if you want to follow Ava on her personal Instagram or me on mine to watch her grow up in real time, then go and do that.